Welcome to my world. Look what my now 8th grader brought home from school. Abstract art that they did in art class. And Jacqueline also made this. I love it. So let us see. I'm Suzanne Ridgway and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thank you for clicking on my link and checking me out. Let's take a look at that subscribe word and smash on it. Don't forget to tap on that bell. This video is going to have a bunch of helpful information. Not quite hacks, but simple hacks to help you survive the summer with the kids home. If you go to work and they go places, that's awesome. Or if they're old enough to stay home, you can still do these with your older kids. I'm a stay-at-home mom. My husband works from home. So all four of us are home and within the summer months. My teen will start their job around the 14th of July and go to the 10th of August, and then they go to college. My youngest may volunteer at the library from time to time and sign them up for a bunch of library programs, and I'll get into that further within the video. Let's get going. Now this one is more of a cleaning hack to help moms and dads out. When you're doing things in the morning when the kids are asleep before work, See if you need to get out your robo vacuum if you have one of those or sweep up real quick. I'm going to sweep the dining area. The TV area doesn't need it. The kitchen's pretty good and I need to sweep in my kids' room while they're asleep because during the day when they're awake I can't. There are no programs going on at the library I believe today but they have a craft thing going on that's for any age group. I think there's an ice cream social tomorrow. I'm going to confirm that with the director of the library. And I have a program coming up on the 7th at my library. I'm going to be making smoothies for a bunch of the kids. Two different types, and my 12-year-old is going to assist me. My teen, however, who works at the library, will be at the sleepover at their college because they need to sleep over once, and then they get to sign up for all the classes in the fall. So that's really excited. They are a computer science major, minor in music, one of the top 10 graduates from our school district, and they're getting their diploma. I'm so excited. As I said, this video is previously recorded. Let's get these floors swept up. The bathroom doesn't need anything. I'm going to take a look on our shelves together to see what I can plan for lunch. I was thinking about a veggie chow mein or a chicken chow mein for my family, especially in my teen and tween because I love chicken as well as vegetables. They don't care if it's canned or not. They don't know. I don't tell them. Another mom hack there. What they don't need to know, keep it a secret. Check your menus. This is a big, huge help. If you don't have anything out for dinner, take it out now and let it thaw in the fridge. And then when you're home from work, you can throw it in the oven. Or if you can throw it into the crock pot, plug it in, let it sit on low all day. It'll be fine. I did that many times when I was working. Let's head into the kitchen and grab my broom and dustpan. Kitchen is ready to go for the next meal. And I have dinner thawing on the stovetop. A lot of birds out back today. The crock pot is drying. We are going to have Salisbury steaks in the air fryer. We have the cat bird here all summer. He's a tiny little gray bird that sounds like a cat when they chirps. They're cute. If you're new, the cage has a gerbil in it. The senior gerbil. They're three and a half over 70 in America. And 
for three and a half over 70 in people years. She's old and tired. I just fed her. She doesn't really want to eat anymore. So I feed her and spoil her. Sweep your floors every day. Keep them clean. I won't buy one of those vacuums, the Robos. If I were to get one as a gift, I probably wouldn't even use it. Much. These are very old floors. They weren't polished when we moved in. Probably won't be fixed or polished until we move out. I drink a lot of water, especially at night. I wake up with the, in the dry air with a dry mouth. Plus, when you drink water before bed, it helps you lose weight. Now that it is summertime, we don't really have a curfew, and we sort of stopped the curfews for bedtime when COVID happened. As long as they get up for school and don't argue, I let them stay up a little later than normal. With that said, my children sleep in. They do not get up early. They never really got up early even when they went to bed on time. So one of the first hacks let your kids stay up a little later than normal. Put on a movie, turn off the devices, and then let them sleep in a little bit in the morning so you can get things done. While they sleep, I go around to see what needs to be done. And I've already started doing things. I did the dishes, washed out the crock pot from last night. My videos are previously recorded for your convenience so I can have them uploaded and ready for that particular day. This is not so much a morning routine video, but helpful ways to help you with your children while at home. Our local library is a huge resource of information with tons of free events all summer long. And I've been going through them all interested in the ones that I think my teen will like. Jacqueline's going to be 13 in November and they can do the 12 to 18 programs and they can even volunteer at the library if they want to. I know next year they want to work at the elementary school next summer as a camp counselor and they can do that through the school district. My oldest has been working at the our library for the past three years now, part-time, making pretty decent money that they put away for our car. So that's very exciting. This is their last year at our public library. Then they're going to probably work at the library at college 
difficult. They can certainly put in an application because they have the experience. We have a Raptors program coming up on Monday, which my kid loves. So I'll probably taking Jacqueline and maybe one of her friends to that program. They have edible art. They have sushi candy coming up. Unfortunately, some of them will be on vacation and won't be able to attend, like the pool noodle horses and unicorns. We made them a few years ago, and they were super cute. Then there's Sharpie tie-dye coming up that I clicked interested on, as well as the tie-dyes. Now, I know my 18-year-old loves tie-dyes, and they provide the shirt and the paint and everything. It's usually an outdoor event, which is really nice. Then they have things like yoga and music on the lawn for adults. So these are great things that are free and won't cost any money out of pocket to keep your child busy and off of their devices. Mine, 18 year old, will be working. So those will be their downtimes for their devices and attending some of the events. And I've signed up Jacqueline for several of them. They have water baseball, chalk the walk where you get to draw on the sidewalks. We love doing that. I keep chalk at home at all times. My children still love bubbles and chalk. They have a giant connect four board, which is awesome. So many things to do. Now, we also have a state park about um, three miles away. It's actually a mile to the park and then two miles to drive into the park because it's considered an island and it's awesome. And they have movies in the park that are completely free as well as story time walks for younger children. And they have a really wonderful playground, which is very convenient to get to other than our school playground. So check out your local parks. A lot of them have concerts on the lawn. Our library does that as well to see what's going on. That's going to be low cost or no cost to get your children engaged and away from computers the entire day. Now on a rainy day, yeah, that's fine. You don't want them driving you crazy. Give them the tablet, the iPad, whatever you have to keep them busy. Put on a movie. We ditched cable recently and we have Roku. And I watched Big Daddy. I absolutely love that movie. The ending's the best if you've ever seen it. I have to buy that one. I've been watching Friends and it was repackaged from Walmart and we had to replace because it was past the 90 days. I mean, we bought it a year ago. It was missing part of season 7, 8, and 10. I was really mad. And Walmart won't do anything about it because it's past the, the time period for their policy. So try not to buy things from them online, like DVD sets, because you don't know if they're third party or package. Show you another hack here. Rather than spending a ton of money on Netflix and other streaming services, we have a Roku TV. Me and my husband, my teens, TV is a little older. I'm going to zoom in here. We have Tubby TV. And this is where I watched Big Daddy. I'm currently watching Coyote Ugly. And they have all kinds of movies here. Young and old, adventurous, romantic. I'm not a fan of Julia Roberts, but I love Pretty Woman. I'm actually looking for the original Karate Kid with Ralph Macchio. Scream. I remember seeing that in theaters when I was a teenager. Gone in 60 seconds. And they have a ton of other movies available. Eight Mile. Who needs all those expensive streaming services and look at the children's selection Pac-Man, Angry Birds I watched the nanny, I love that Fran Dresser all kinds of great TV here 
and you don't have to purchase anything. And when I watched Big Daddy, it had one commercial throughout the entire movie. So that's pretty awesome. And if you like horror, they have a ton of horror movie too. Plus we do DVDs. We purchase them. But as I mentioned, just be careful buying them online. Make sure that the source is reputable. A glimpse of some of my collection. I am an 80s fanatic and 70s. Bionic Woman. Wings. Six Million Dollar Man, Dawson's Creek, Boy Meets World, Golden Girls. So, Tubby TV, you can also get it on your phone. It is a great app, easy to download to your TV, as well as sign up for the app on your phone. I use it all the time. There's all kinds of movies within Roku as well. So, if you have a Roku TV, Go in more depth with it and check them out. Really great movies from the 90s and early 2000s. I absolutely loved watching Big Daddy again. I want to see Mr. Deeds again um, from my library when I go down this week or have them order it. And I want to bring that up. If they don't have it available at the branch you're at, go to the clerk. Have them look it up within their sharing district. They can have it come from one branch directly to your branch so you don't have to do any driving. That is awesome. And when you let your kids sleep in in the mornings, you can get your lunch planned. So we're going to go over to my shelves now and grab the ramens that I need and get them on the countertop just to have everything ready for when I start my dinner prep and lunch prep to make things go smooth within my household. Go over to my shelf here. This is going to be emptied out. If your child's going to summer camp, make sure everything's out of it. Throw it into your wash on delicate and then let it tumble dry on low heat or air dry it so your bags for your child's lunch stay fresher and longer. I'm going to grab two packages of the ramens and then my canned chickens on the other pantry shelf. I'm also going to grab canned and mixed vegetables to go with it. So I had forgotten I hung it up so it's only been in there for a day. There was really no food in it. It's going to go into the laundry basket. So when we do laundry tomorrow, I'll get it washed on Delicate, as I mentioned. Then it will go with the backpack in storage until the fall. So we're all ready to go. Now, another thing you should do with the backpacks, take everything out. Keep the computer, if you keep your computer at home in the summer months, and then uh, three days before school, Plug it in and let it charge fully so it's ready for that first day. Make sure all pencils and pens and scissors that are good get kept in a box and ready for the next school year so you don't have to spend a ton of money on extra school supplies. This is some of the food for today. I have the ramens, the canned chicken, and mixed vegetables. This is going to be dinner tonight, air fryer, celibate berry steaks. These are some breakfast options. They're homemade monkey bread muffins, and homemade banana oatmeal chocolate chip cookies that I made, and they're eggless, so that's wonderful. These are also just biscuits from Great Value, and I made them into muffins instead of monkey bread. So we're all prepped and ready for the day. There's also the other options that I mentioned, cereal, pancakes, and eggs for breakfast. Your children are home and sleep in. And you want to save money, turn off anything not in use, like your lights. Do not use an overhead during the day if you can. Use a table lamp. Use your fan rather than the air conditioning until it gets too hot. And if you can skip the fan altogether, use a ceiling fan. Use your air fryer, grill, and crock pot. And stovetop, if you have a Dutch oven, try to refrain from using the actual oven, especially when hot, to reduce your energy bill. And if they're sleeping, make sure, unless charging, all the plugs are out from the power sockets so they're not using energy and you're reducing your energy bill. Here's another great hack. Do you have kids that are impossible to get into the tub, or little ones? 
in the summer months, if they're not going anywhere, let them skip a bath. That's fine. Let your body's natural oils take over. And the next day, throw them in the tub or put them in the tub. We don't really throw them in the tub. It's just an expression. My oldest, unless they're going out, I let them skip a bath. But not too many days. Make sure they put on their deodorant, brush their teeth, and we make sure they brush their hair. Because if it's in dreadlocks, it's a horrible experience getting them out. If they have long hair, they need to maintain the hair. Otherwise, they have to have it short. And stress that with your child. If they want the long hair, they got to keep it brushed and clean. If they're going swimming, let them skip that night before and have them bathe when they get home after the swimming. That way, all the chlorine's out of their system and their bodies and they're ready and fresh for the next day for whatever is going on. This will help relieve a lot of stress with getting your kid into the tub. My kid will be showering most of the time because they work part-time unless they have some kind of library program or a play date or they're volunteering. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. A little bit of cleaning, a little bit of getting ready for the day and talking about how I keep my kids busy and occupied throughout the summer. And before we go, getting your kids together with their friends from school is another great way to keep them busy and off the devices and outside getting fresh air. Set up playtime if they're younger and set up hanging out time since mine are teens and one's a young adult with their friends. Get them out of the house and plan day trips with your family that are close by so you're not spending a ton in gas. We're going to Lake Taconic soon, and so you, we did last year with, and brought you with me, and I'll be doing a video of us getting ready to go to the beach and going swimming at Lake Taconic, so that's going to be a lot of fun. I'll bring you with me on vacation again this year so you can see my suite and what we do on vacation. Uh, we do a lot of cheap to free stuff, and we bring our own food, and I meal plan. So we'll be doing a special meal plan video coming up, and we do have a meal planning players list so check that out. It is very helpful, a rotation meal plan with theme nights. So you can plan up to a month to two months in advance if you need to to make the summer run smoothly. That's another great hack. Have your meals planned from your freezer as well as your pantry from now until when school starts. So that way you're not scrambling on what's for dinner that night. Before we go, when we get 20 more people we're going to issue out one five item surprise pack from the Dollar Tree valued at $6.25. When we get to $1,600 we're going to issue out two more gift cards from the Dollar Tree valued at $10. If you're new you must comment and introduce yourself. You must be subscribed and a U.S. resident. If you've won in the past 60 days you have to wait out 60 days in order to win again. If you don't answer me within two days you'll be disqualified and a new name will be chosen. If it's something urgent that happened to you, email me at countryboots1268 at yahoo.com and we'll talk. Thank you for watching.